Have you guys ever wondered if a log splitter can handle the heat year after year? Well, come on in. Join me while we break down the journey that we've had here on the channel for the 25-ton country line log splitter. We're going to discuss the performance, durability, real-world life testing for this log splitter that we've utilized here on Hill Creek Outdoors. From that first split all the way down the line to where we are now, we're going to uncover whether this machine truly can stand the test of time in this long-term review. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about this. We do have this 25-ton country line log splitter. We did purchase it from Tractor Supply, and we've had this now for three to three and a half years. We are in that point now that I can say we are in a long-term review. We've had it um, long enough and split enough firewood with it that we can claim that, and we can tell you about this thing. So we have a small firewood business here on the property. We usually sell about 15 to 25, 15 to 20 cords of firewood per year. And I believe we just now went over right around 100 cords of firewood split with this machine. And as far as the performance, this thing has a 6.5 horsepower Kohler engine. And with this cylinder here, a 25 ton cylinder, this doesn't have any problem going through any logs that I have ever came across. I've come across some of the naughtiest logs, and this thing just will go right through it. It might slow down, but it'll power its way through. So the performance on this thing is just, I mean, stellar for the price, right? Um, it's not the most expensive. It's the, what I would call, entry level uh, for log splitters. As far as, you know, if you're actually going to use, use it to log split. And I haven't had any issues with it. So that engine with this coupled with this cylinder will push extremely well. Um, there is one thing with this is it does have an auto retract, which is a great feature. The auto retract uh, makes it real nice while you're grabbing another log. It does go back to, I believe, 22 inches. I cut all of my logs 16 inches. Um, it just makes it so much easier for stacking, things like that, and selling. And you can check out some of our other videos on, on why I choose 16 inches. Um, but when you're retracting that, I think it has a 1.7 to 2 second retract all the way back. If I have another log, I'll just stop it and then go back again. I've seen other people on other channels where they've put a feature on here to where it stops at about 18 inches. Um, so it makes it a little bit quicker. I haven't done that. I just go ahead and pop it back and get going. So as far as the horsepower, as far as the performance, this thing is stellar. Um, and I can speak from that experience with all them logs that I have split. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the durability of this. It kind of goes hand in hand with performance because performance is based upon how well this is built, correct? The engine is built perfectly to perfection never had any issues with the Kohler as long as you're doing your maintenance your normal scheduled maintenance your oil changes you're putting clean fuel in it um, you're doing all the stuff you're supposed to do change your spark plug all the services as the intervals are uh, tell you to do so in the book do it because if you don't guess what's gonna happen the performance is gonna drop then your durability your dependability drops right it just it doesn't doesn't matter so as far as durability wise this thing is made up of awesome steel real thick i'll bring you in close and show you a little bit more but i haven't had anything ding up no dents um the cutting edge on this it is held up really nice we do have one ding in here uh but it's pretty much not even noticeable 
We did add this four-way wedge. This makes it nice for smaller. So you can just do a four-way and you're done. We did add this as well. But as far as adding this on, what Country Line does is they add two pre-drilled um, holes that you can then bolt this aftermarket thing on. So they, they thought of everything. They also thought of little holes right here um, for your debris. Get it out of there. Um, all the hydraulic fluid. We're going to cover that. So let's bring you in close. Get you a closer look at the hydraulic fluid and some of these other features. This right here is where you are going to check your um, hydraulic fluid and also fill it. You want to make want to make sure you're always checking all this stuff prior to your use. We have these hydraulic lines. There's one thing I don't like those hydraulic lines how low. So when you're transporting it, sometimes they drag. So I try to pin them up. But make sure you're replacing all your hydraulic stuff the way the book is intended to do so. Here is going to be your adjuster that will auto uh, your valve to auto retract. Look at this feature right here that I'm talking about. When you're splitting wood, just simple things like this, getting that debris out of there, make it so nice so it doesn't ball, ball up in there. Like I said, we do have that one ding right there on the bottom. Well, it looks like there's a little one up top too from the camera view. But that cutting edge is held up extremely nice. But just walking you around this, this thing has had hundreds of hours of use, hundreds of hours of work time. You have your engine oil dipstick down there. Do your service. I can't stress enough how much service matters on a piece of equipment. Even if you don't use it very much, do it yearly. Make sure you change your oil, even if you don't use it. This is the ultimate test. I haven't had this thing on for probably a month and a half. I haven't split wood for a month and a half, and it's just been sitting there. So this is the ultimate test. Out of all the real world testing we have done, all the logs we've ran through this, the main question is, for a lot of people, is how easy is this thing to start? I haven't had very many issues in the past. Never actually had any issues with this thing starting. Usually it only takes a couple of pulls. So I'm curious to see what it's going to be like for a month and a half worth of not starting it. So let's go ahead and try it and see what happens. I mean, you guys can see cold as can be. Um, I guess you're going to have to take my word for it, but I'm telling you, it hasn't been started. So first thing we're going to do, turn it on. Make sure our choke's on, fuel's on. Unfortunately, I kept that on from the last time, so... Shame on me. Uh, here we go. Uh-oh. Whoa. One pull. Turn that choke off. Oh my gosh, it's still. Let's throw this log up there and show you. You should usually let it warm up, but I'm trying to give you a real world test if you're in a hurry. Boom. One, two, three. I guess it was three guys to retract. I thought it was about two seconds, so I apologize. Let's put this four way split on. See if we can get this going. Look at that. Always wear gloves. Mine are in there. I'm just trying to show you how quick and easy this guy this is. So you guys don't have any issues. I mean, if that's not durable, durability. Good performance, I don't know. Hasn't been used for a month and a half. Hasn't been even started. We just hauling it around, trying to get you guys some content for it. And this thing started right up. I mean, you just seen I split four pieces of wood right there. If I had rounds cut up with all this wood here behind us, man, we could easily knock out a good quart of firewood in probably a half hour. No problem. Um... Maybe even faster than that. 
This thing here, I tell you what, it has been truly a lifesaver. It's made its money over and over and over and over again. The value this has brought, especially if you have a small firewood business. If you don't have a small firewood business, if you just have a a um, a personal use where you you burn firewood for your your everyday or for the winter or for your pleasure, this thing it, it's a tremendous value for the buck. Um, we didn't pay a, a whole lot for it. And it didn't take very long to recuperate the money. So the return on investment was just outstanding for it. We are truly happy to have it. Um, like I said, we've put about 100 cords of firewood through this thing in the last three, three and a half years. And it has just been truly a pleasure to use. Um, it does have the uh, a feature. I'll show you real quick. Get this out of here. It also has the feature to be stood up you pull this pin like if you're doing really big logs and you're not wanting to pick them up there's the feature there you can throw it here crank her down crank her up and you're good to go this isn't very hard to uh it's got pretty well weight distribution so i mean you're gonna have to put a little bit into it but it's not crazy so i hope you guys learned something from this hope you got something of value um, I would highly recommend the Country Line 25 ton log splitter for you all um, because I'm telling you what, once again, the performance of it, outstanding, no complaints. It does its thing. Durability, it's made extremely well. As long as you take care of your maintenance, you, do, you check your hydraulic fluid, you check your oil, you change your stuff, do it at the right times. This thing's going to last you a lifetime. I'm curious to see how long this is actually going to roll. I might have it in another 25 years, 30 years. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but as far as the long-term review for this, I think we're to the point where it's passed over that uh, short-term review. So um, I think it's highly, highly useful. So other than that, I don't really have anything. I'm just sitting here mumbling. I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. I mean, we couldn't do this without you guys. We are almost there. Um, every day we get closer to interacting with each one of you. Um, please join our, our community. Comment below. Don't ever forget to like and subscribe because that truly helps us out on the channel, helps us grow, helps us reach other folks like you. And, you know, this is why we do things. We try to help you provide value so that you can live better. So, with all things country, from us here at Hill Creek Outdoors, we appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.